Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video in our beginner series where today we are going to discuss the pros and cons of flexible dieting versus a meal plan. What's better for weight loss? But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring that little bell wherever it is so you get notified when I upload a video. Now, without further ado, we have Taz here. Of hey course. <laughs> Hope you guys have been enjoying our videos so far. And like I said, we're just gonna jump right into it. We're gonna talk about the pros and the cons of meal planning versus flexible dieting and what's better for weight loss. So, before we get started, I want you guys to comment below a topic you guys want us to talk about. Well, wait. Before we forget. Okay, well, before we get started, Taz and I both do flexible dieting and I have also done meal plans. So I have experience with both now. Let's kind of describe what each of them are. Flexible dieting is. So, flexible dieting is basically a format of eating, okay? So, you have, for those of you who don't know what flexible dieting is, it's basically you have certain amounts of your carbs, your fat, and your protein to eat every single day. Each of those have certain caloric amounts, okay? So, for example, carbs, every gram of carb will equal four calories, every gram of protein will equal four calories, and every gram of fat will equal nine calories. So if you eat a combination of those, it will add up to your total calories for the day, okay? Now, the premise behind this is as long as you are staying within your caloric allotment, I guess, and your carbs, your fat, and your protein, you're hitting your macros, you're counting your macros, uh, you will stay on track towards your goals. So whatever food you wanna kinda fit into there, as long as you are staying within those macro allotments, you can fit basically, I hate saying whatever food, but whatever food you want. Uh, the only stipulation is a lot of people adhere to the 80-20 or the 85-15 rule. So 80 to 85% uh, percent of your food will come from those whole nutritious food sources, while 15 to 20% can come from your treat, whether that's wine or pizza or ice beer cream. or Oreos or ice cream. As long as it still fits in, it's not like that 20% can just be whatever, it still has to fit within those macros, uh, but it does allow you to have a little treat every day. That's where you see all those Instagram pictures at the end of the night, like a bowl of ice cream with like three pieces of Cheerios and one piece of a brownie and half an Oreo because it still fits into your macros. Yeah. Um, it's a way to pretty much stay sane, um, not have a cheat once a week, whereas you can have like a little bit of a cheat every single day. Um, but that cheat is tracked. It's not just a exactly. cheat, cheat. It's, right. it's worked into your food already. Correct. And you know, the reasoning behind that cheat every day, I'm gonna just say cheat, it's so that you don't feel like you need to binge. I know that for me in the past, whenever I did a, a diet, I would, you know, I would not cheat myself to anything because I thought that, that was gonna make me like super fat or whatever, lose all my progress. But when I would go and eat something that was not in my diet, I would binge on that like crazy and it's like I'd never eaten that food before in my life. So it's that's like kind shark of the in blood and best of water. Yeah, literally. Like, I was like yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> So that's kind of the reasoning behind the 80, 20, 85, 15 rule. Um, and now when it comes to meal plans, I've done meal plans for, I think I did a meal plan when I first started like my diet journey. And then I did another meal plan when I competed. So I have mixed feelings on a meal plan. I think they're fantastic if it fits your lifestyle. That's it. Um, I think if you have a lot going on, if you have kids, if you have a nine to five and you have, I don't know, multiple jobs and you just don't have time to think about what you wanna eat or what fits into your macros, um, then a meal plan is fantastic. Because what you're doing is you're, you're essentially just eating your macros in a meal plan form. So it's not like you're not doing macros. You're still doing the exact same thing, just one of them is the same foods Every day in day. and day out. So, my very quickly, my points, I, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with a meal plan. Um, except to when you're just eating the same things for like months on end. Because what's gonna happen is your body's gonna get used to those foods that you're putting into your body and you're not giving it anything else. So right. once you start adding, right, you're not adding any variety to your diet. Once you start adding those foods in, your body's gonna be like, Ugh, what's going on? And not, not, not always, you're not always gonna have like a, a negative reaction, but sometimes, most of the time, your body's not gonna know what to do with it. And what happens to me, I swell up like a balloon because my body's like, what is this food? And it could be, it could be like a vegetable. It doesn't have to be like, you know, Snickers. It could literally be like squash Anything or- Anything your body's not used to. Right, you know, dairy, yogurt, whatever it is that you're not putting into or your body. Yeah. Intolerances. Yeah. And almost like a, a mini allergy because you're just not taking that in. 
Yeah. <clears throat> so, you know, if you're gonna do a meal plan, I suggest doing it like maybe two weeks at a time, just so that you're still changing up your diet and having it variety. Now, right now, for my lifestyle, I do flexible dieting. I don't have a meal plan uh, just because well, I don't right. need one. Yeah, and which is funny because I usually eat the same things every day, but I have the freedom to change it if I want to. I'm not stuck to one solid meal plan. Gotcha. A meal plan does provide a lot of rigidity. So if you thrive on structure, you know, some people are just like, I need it this way, this way, this way, this way. I can't have any, any variances. I need it the same thing every single day. Then yes, a meal plan could work great for you. And you know, if you want to be able to add in some fun stuff, you know, quote unquote fun food or, or bad food, I hate using the term bad food because it's really not any good or bad food, it's just more of amounts. You know, if you add in, but for the sake of this talk, we're gonna use bad food and encompass that in like the top of the food pyramid of like your refined sugars and you know, the, the treats, the, the fun stuff. Uh, if you want to add in a little bit of that every day, flexible dieting could be for you. If you like the rigidity and you know the structure of a meal plan, that could be for you as well. So, I will say one thing: meal plans that I do not like are the ones that are like half a cup of oats, two egg whites, six asparagus, beers, six asparagus, four beers, almonds, four almonds, two pieces of tilapia, and an ice pop. And an ice pop. <laughs> but that's what it's like almost. PTSD, it. PTSD. It, right? um, I will say just because at that point you're not eating enough. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of, and I, I don't understand why they're still out there, but there are a lot of online coaches that will just give you a meal plan because they want that before and after picture, unfortunately. You know, you're, defi you're definitely gonna lose weight. However, the second you put in anything into anything that mouth, you're gonna you blow enjoy. up. Um, so, you know, if what Taz said resonated with you about having a structure and not having to think about anything, think about getting those macros for you, like your personal macros, and then creating a meal plan based around those macros. So not necessarily just picking any meal plan from the internet or from an online coach, it's figuring out your macros and then converting that into a meal plan that so that you're eating what you want and that works for you and your lifestyle. At the end of the day, it comes down to what you can sustain better. It's not that one's better than the other, it's really what's gonna work best for your lifestyle. What can you adhere to? Because adherence is gonna create sustainability, sustainability is gonna create long-term success. Bam. If a meal plan works better for you, awesome. Me, personally, macros is working great because in this dieting phase, I can add in a little treat every day if I want to. You don't have to, but it does allow the flexibility, hence flexible dieting, in the whole scheme of things. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much it. To answer your question, there's no right or wrong, just whatever works best for you. Again, the only thing that I have a little hesitation against are those meal plans that are not fit to you. They're not custom to you or your lifestyle, so it, it's, it's just not a good thing to look into. And one more thing, unless somebody is an RD, they cannot prescribe you specific specific foods. They cannot tell you specifically what to eat because they're, that's way outside of the scope of practice. So be aware of that. Everybody does, unfortunately, but the fact that they don't have anything backing them as far as why they're prescribing this other than, oh, it worked for Joe over there, so guess what, you're gonna do it too. It doesn't work that way. You know, if they prescribe you something and it's completely wrong and it completely messes up your body, you could sue them because it's way outside of their scope of practice. So um, just keep that in mind, just because somebody looks good or has a six pack or has big biceps or has competed before, you just be aware about what they're prescribing you as far as specific food wise. Um, but I think that's all we have for you guys today. If you guys have any questions on any of the things that we talked about, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. We're always down there talking to you guys, but Again, keep those um, requests coming and we're gonna keep making these videos for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with someone you think might benefit from it. Thank you guys so much.